Yo fellas, it's Cryptopy here, playing Sonic CD, the remaster version, on the PlayStation 3. So we're here at the final level, the Metallic Madness, where we can stop Robotnik once and for all and save the little planet. Because oh man, he's has made some bad futures, but at least Sonic the Hedgehog is here to make everything perfect. I mean, the little planet just look very populated. Like, most of these locations seems to be... It can't just be a planet and nothing else. Like, there has to be people that's working on it because there's wacky workbench. And then there's this evil doctor who's making this... This... This big place. How long has he actually taken over the little planet? Well, anyways, we hear the metallic madness and... I have to find some sort of way to travel to... Travel to the past with these. Oh, is it this location? Yes, okay, so I have to do this little spin dash on this spring here. And it should work. Okay, it has to be very precise. Very, very precise. Okay, again, uh... Darn it. Okay. Yes, finally, it works. So after that, you can go to the past and the metallic madness, and... I think the past version has some really nice music, I've... But the present version has, definitely has the best one. Oh man, there was a seesaw right there. Good thing he he kind of removed it. So what I know is that you have to go to the very bottom because the generator is kind of tricky to find. It's very well hidden in this stage. So that you can find it. Just go to the bottom and you'll definitely find it. Yes, there it is. So you have to go down here. And like I said before, there aren't any single middle sonic holograms and metallic matter so don't you don't have to think about it, it did anymore so let's go and here it is just chilling in this hideout you really thought you could hit me and hide from me no you can't because i am just too fast for the naked eye that doesn't really make sense but you know all right so all i have to do is just beat the stage I do remember, I do have to remember that next two I can collect, I, I'm able to collect the time stone because uh, if you destroy the, all of them and then collect the time stones, you still get the achievements in, in destroying all the generators and the holograms in Sonic CD. Like you can do all this in one go, but that is kind of specific and that's what I like about it. But anyway, let's go and we beat the first act. It's pretty easy because you can actually beat this one uh, within one minute. When Act 2, this is where it's going to get a little... ...macier. Okay, Metallic Madness Act 2. I need to find the pest sign and... I do not exactly know how I can actually get back to the pest for bees, but... ...finding the pest sign can be a little... ...tricky. Maybe I just have to go way up, or anything else. I don't really know. <laughs> uh, okay, so here, so maybe this way. Yes, there it is. So after that, you can use these circle things to travel, or you can use these springs here. Way easier. Oh yeah, and I do exactly know where the the generator is. Actually, I think both of them are pretty hard to find. But now that I know these locations, it's, it's pretty easy for me. Alright, so I just have to go to the left. And I should be here, right? I just have to look. Okay, I don't know, but... Oh no! I got crushed. I was hoping I could just crawl down there. But hey, now we can just have full experience with the, with the past. You can see the background is still in the middle of construction. <laughs> we can easily destroy Ig Eggman's base and make it to our own. But no, we have to focus on the mission of saving the little planet. It wants to live in peace, so I'll give it peace. Okay, where exactly should it be? Maybe this way? No. Maybe... Maybe this way? Man, I'm not exactly sure where the generator is. I just know you have to use this this thing. Maybe down. 
Okay, I'm completely blank. I do know it should be around here, but uh Okay, maybe this way. Okay, let's see if this is the correct place. I think it is. Yes! Okay, if you actually go inside that pipe thing, you just have to go to the left and then you'll definitely find the generator. Yes, savior of the planet! I got the achievement at last. So I destroyed all the metal sonic teleporters. Uh, I always say teleporter. A uh, hologram and the generator, so I complete the mission, so now I have to collect 50 rings and get all of the time stones. And then I can officially say that I have 100% that Sonic CD. Okay, I just need to find uh, my way out of this dump. Although you destroy all the robots, these bombing robots are still here. And they can erase your health. Like, when they explode, they're going to unleash some of these uh, red spears. So do all you can to not... Oh no, come on. I need to get out of here. <laughs> but the, the bad future of the Metallic Madness really, really defines the Robotnik's thoughts. Like, he really wants this place to be his own. You can't do anything, so don't even try it. Dead or alive, he's mine. Like, that is how the music is, and it just sounds so disturbing. It's definitely better than the one in the US version. Like, it sounds good and all, but... Uh, I don't really know. Like I said before, I really like the Japanese version just because it defines Sonic music. The, the US version just sounds, sounds like something else. Okay, I just have to dodge it somehow. Oh man, okay, I have to go back. I want to go to the future, but I think it's kind of hard to do this. So I'm just gonna uh, stick myself into the past here. We do see the future version in a way on the boss, so I think it's fine. And here's the new part. You turn into Mini Sonic in Sonic CD. And the good thing is, is returning back to Sonic Mania. It's a really nice thing that they have made the uh, Mini Sonic and Metallic Madness Act 2. He's so cute. Now I have to go over here. <laughs> I don't want to touch enough these spikes here. And then I just will uh, roll my ray down. <laughs> okay. But the past and the future version of Metallic Madness looks so different in comparison to the, uh, the bad future and even the present. Because the present it still looks like something uh, Robotnik uh, could have made. Like it doesn't look evil but... Okay, it looks evil, but yeah. Whoa, I just clipped through the wall. Did you see that? That was weird. Okay, we're almost done with the stage. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, what is the base, best way? I don't really know. Maybe I have to jump way over there. Oh, I could have touched that spike. Okay, now all I have to do is not touch these spikes here because... I am way up very close to the end. I don't want to screw up. Okay, I did it! And now to get the last time stone. I'm very confident that I can actually beat the seventh special stage because this one is definitely the hardest because you can you can easily screw up and, and touch the water. But I make my but I just make sure that I don't screw up. I really hope I don't. <laughs> Yeah, look how much water there are, but this place looks kinda... different. Like, the background, it sort of reminds me of a planet from Ben 10. If you don't- if you haven't watched the show, then why haven't you? Okay, now I just have to destroy these UFOs because those UFOs are also pretty quick, so it's kind of hard to catch on. Especially when they're floating above the water. Okay, what I always do is just use these bouncy walls just to slow myself down and try to think, how can I get to these? Oh man, 
uh, get those UFOs. Okay, I got it. I got the momentum I need, so I really hope I can get that. Yes! Okay, I got it. Yes! Okay, this is going really well. Yeah! Okay! That went so much easier and faster than I expected. I got the seventh time stone. Oh yes! So now I can officially say that I almost 100% of Sonic CD. Only 99%. I first need to defeat the final boss. And the final boss it looks really generic. Like he just looks like... What? How should I say this? A windmill? It doesn't look... It doesn't look like what the most epic uh, boss designs that I've ever seen. It just looks like another boss, uh, another kind of machine he made, but not anything special. His latest and greatest creation. You guys remember the egg dealer in, in Shadow the Hedgehog? It doesn't look like it one of the greatest. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I almost fell down. <laughs> like the egg dealer, he said it was his latest and greatest creation. It just looks like. And it's just like a. A moving jackpot thing, but it's not really a special machine. Hate to break it to you, Eggman, but it just doesn't look that good. It's not even yet that good because it can it all it really did is help Shadow defeating him, so that machine is is it's just a piece of junk. But this isn't a piece of junk. Like you have to destroy that uh, that light bulb here. And it's kind of hard to do because it has a it has a split second of its hitbox, so you have to time your jump perfectly. And gotcha! All right, and now for the final boss. I think the music is called the Final Fever, and it has the the opera music or the opera song. Like of all these epic music they have used in Sonic CD. They're now using a opera song. Like maybe they're thinking, oh man, we can't figure out some good final boss music, so we just have to like hire a woman and try to do this opera music. I don't really know how it is, but just hire her anyway. Okay, just two more hits to go. Like he only has four hitboxes. But the thing can be said about the others, they have like only one to four hitboxes, so. Maybe that's why some of these, uh, maybe that's why all the bosses are, are really hit and miss, mostly hit and miss, because they're, they're neither challenging or very long. Okay, just one more to go and I can get out of here with my girlfriend. <laughs> Sonic's girlfriend. And you're finished. That was it for Sonic CD and Robotnik. Now get out of the little planet or else. And there's AB. Hi.
and that was it for Sonic CD Let's Play. I'm so glad that I have done this Let's Play because Sonic, C Sonic CD is one of my favorite Sonic games ever. Because it does something different, but still has the core of a classic Sonic game. It does the time travel thing, but you can clearly understand that, that because basically, you go back to the past, destroy something evil, and then you can change the future forever in a good way. And yeah, it's one of these time travel stories that are actually simple, and very simple, but still told well. And for Sonic, I think that's a very, a, a very great improvement. Like. I think this is the first Sonic game that we see that doesn't only evolve with going to the goalpost and then beat the game. You, can, you also have a choice to make a good ending for this little planet here because it got uh, it got conquered by Dr. Robotnik, his arch nemesis. So I'm really glad that Sonic CD does something totally different and has some other purposes other than just beat the bad guy. There's so much more, a great depth for a classic Sonic game. Also. We can't just say, uh, talk about Sonic CD without these awesome soundtracks because the soundtracks in this game, like I said before, is one of my favorites ever in video games. Like, it's one of these, it's just, maybe I can't really say what the very best, but like one of the best I've heard in video gaming just because it just makes you want to dance and everything and it just sounds so good that I just want to go outside and listen to it. Right after I actually started my Let's Play, I just listen to it very often when I'm going outside for a trip. But fun fact, Sonic CD is one of my first high quality videos that I have done together with Sonic Lost World. Because I got some good access from my from, my, from the high school and they let me use the computer to do some recordings. And yeah, that is what, what I started with. Just without the commentary because there were other people that was going in, that were, that was going in school with me. So I, can't really, so I don't really have a rule where I can do this myself. So, yeah, what do you guys think about Sonic CD? Me, like I said before, great and awesome soundtracks. And I really do like the, the, the pixel art in this game. Like, it sounds, it looks so good. Hmm. Like, for example, like I said before, I really do like the Quartz Quadrant. Like, the good future there. It's, it's just a prime example of how beautiful this Sonic CD still looks to this day. Man, I can't believe they can pull off something that's good in the 1993. But I will say that this game has some wacky, wacky level designs, like like I said before. And then there are some other questionable designs, like the collision chaos, and like the game represents. Also, is where you have lo loads of springs that not even s uh, spring yard can compare, ironically. And. I think that's all I can really ex uh, complain about Wacky like, Workbench and Collision Chaos. I believe the others are really uh, super fine. Maybe the stages could have been a little longer, but I guess they only did that because of the exploration. You have to explore and see where the generators and the holograms are, so that you can destroy every anything that is evil and save the little planet. And I think that's fine too. But if you really want to just go through the uh, for the stage and get this over with, then this game can feel very short. So maybe that's a, comp a valid complaint. But overall, I will give this game an eight out of ten because I just love this game so much. Just because of the just because of a purpose that you have to just save the world, and it has this awesome introduction like the anime intro of Toei Animation and also the ending. So yeah, and also Sonic, he just sounds, he just seems so serious about this, going to the little planet uh, with no talking at all, just some actions. It just made me so pumped to play this game when I was little and played Sonic Gems Collection. Ah yes, and also this is the uh, garden, the, uh, the disc audio garden. I believe the reason it's called that is because it doesn't even have the past version of uh, of these of the stage levels like not the music So let's see here there you can actually choose all, all the music here except for the past music and Then it cha actually changed the planet itself. So let's see here the good version of the punk tree panic And there you can see that gardens just looks a little bluer okay, You can actually zoom. I'll try to zoom here and there's a middle sonic and everything so yeah, you can just zoom in and just see how it looks. It's all changed. Okay, and now I try to see here. Yeah, I have to scroll a little. 
I just want to find the bad version of the Metallic Madness. There it is. And this is the bad version of the Metallic Madness. Already it sounds like a big nightmare. What have you done, Robotnik? <laughs> He's just flying around just like, heh. And there you can see that the, that the bad version looks a little grittier, like it's supposed to be. And there you see the Robotnik uh, city, a building. I thought, I said before it was a statue, but this is actually a building. And you can't even see the crystal of the quartz quadrant. Alright. And now to see even more music. Oh, I want to hear what is it? Okay, let's try to hear this one. The Star Speedway, the bad version. Everybody likes this one. I believe it's just because of the Metal Sonic uh, race battle. And this is the one I like the most. Wacky Workbench, the bad version, uh, bad future music because it, 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 it is really good. Like just as good as Palm Tree Panic, the bad version because it sounds. It really represents how badly the future has gotten since Robotnik has just taken over that little planet. Like, what kind of evil scheme has this evil scientist done? And here's the one I really liked, Quad Quadrant. My most favorite good future music. Together with the Collision Chaos, of course, because that one just sounds so good. And there you also have the title Tempest, the good version here. It just sounds like you can rap to this music. Just listen to the rapping. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Of course, I can't even listen to the music because I don't want to make this double volume problem, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yes, so I think I'm just gonna end this video right here. I'm really glad that Christian Whitehead made this package, uh, the definitive version of Sonic CD, because it really deserves that. Oh, and yeah, speaking of that, if you actually go to the time attack and try to make all the, all the timers as low as possible, you can actually unlock some stuff in Sonic CD. Like the DA Garden, the Vision Mode, Level Select, and then Sound Test. The Sound Test, you have to try and crack some specific codes, and then you can see some artworks. Also, that Sonic CD creepy uh, message artwork that I told about before. You know, the Martin one. Oh man. But yeah, uh, I'm really glad that Christian Whitehead made this definitive version so that everybody can enjoy this game. You can, uh, you can also download this game at the mobile phone uh, completely free together with Sonic 1 and 2. Also Sonic 4 Episode 2 if you want to, but I know you won't do that. Okay, let's try and spin this one a little faster. Yeah, you can actually spin it around much faster this garden here. It's getting dizzier this year. Okay, and you can also zoom it right out. Wow, it's actually getting further and further away. Wow, okay. Okay, now I'm trying to take it all the way back. So, it's a really neat that... It's really neat that Crystal Whitehead has captured everything about Sonic CD and made it 100% better. And, you know, also changed Sonic's, uh, Sonic's uh, physics a little, just so that it's completely similar to Sonic 1 and 2. Also the spin dash, that's a great and really good change. So, if you want to try Sonic CD, I can highly recommend you, uh, you guys for that. So that was it for me, thank you guys for watching my let's play on Sonic CD and more. Okay, not more, but if you want to watch more of my let's play and some other stuff that I sometimes do, sometimes I don't do the very same thing, I do many different stuff on my channel. So you're very welcome on see watching my stuff if you want to. So see you guys later in Let's Plays and more. Also watch some of my Let's Plays, that is where the true fun uh, is. Bye bye for now. I'm really glad I did this Let's Play and I hope you are. What are you doing here Robotnik? 